So recall the arithmetic geometric mean theorem that says if a and b are non-negative numbers, then the square root of a b, which is the geometric mean of a and b, is always less than or equal to the arithmetic mean of a and b, a plus b over two. And the two sides are equal if and only if a equals to b. Then when we introduce this uh, theorem, you have seen an algebraic proof for it, but what I wanna show you right now is a lovely geometric proof for that. So imagine that we're given two positive numbers, say three and eight. We're gonna translate them into lengths. So this is like three, this is like eight. We basically, we're given two numbers, make up a line segment this long, make a line segment that long, and then attach them like so. So this is gonna be A, this is gonna be B. And now next, we're gonna draw the tile circle of this line segment, if I can fit it. I think I should have done a little bit smaller. So right now I'm constructing the perpendicular bisector just, just for the midpoint, which I need for the talus circle. So all this work was just for that midpoint. So I'm gonna take off the rest, not to clutter the picture. And now we can draw the talus circle, which starts at the midpoint and at one of the endpoints. I like I like when it hits the other and good. This, this is a precise picture. So now we're gonna draw two two vertical lines. Oh well, technically I should draw I should draw a little line segment around this with the compass, make a little line segment around it so that it, this is the midpoint and then draw the perpendicular bisector just so that we can construct a line perpendicular to this coming out of this point. Well, I'm gonna construct that. So, all right. So what is this point? This point here is the one that separates the two line segments A and B. And then we go up vertically until we hit the circle. That point, if we connect it to the end points, Alice's theorem states that this is a right angle. It looks pretty right, doesn't it? And recall that in a right triangle, when we draw in, and when we draw in the height belonging to the hypotenuse, it is the geometric mean of these two line segments into which the hypotenuse is being split. So H is the geometric mean of E and B. Well, that's what's going on here exactly. You can prove it using similar triangles, right? This angle is the same as this angle. And then A over this is this over B. Uh, that would be something that after trick we would call tangent of this angle. Anyway, so we can derive it. And then this line segment here is, is square root of AB. So that's the geometric mean. And Mentally, you can move this point around. Imagine that you're remaining on this circle, but this point is moving to the left. That means that line segment A gets shorter, line segment B gets longer. And then if you move to the left with this point, this is gonna be even shorter. And as you approach to the extreme where A is teensy teensy tiny and B is almost the whole diameter, the geometric mean is coming down. Now, what about this here, this line segment here? This line segment here is what it is. It's the radius. Well, the radius is half of the diameter, but the diameter is A plus B. So this is A plus B over two, the arithmetic mean. So, so what we're looking at is actually a quite beautiful geometric proof of the arithmetic geometric means theorem. You see, as you move this point around, this is always strictly less, right? Strictly less than the radius. With one exception, they will coincide. If um, their lengths would coincide, if the two lines coincide, but that means that the A and B are of equal length. And so this is sort of a proof without words. I think it's lovely, but you see it used the Thales theorem. So we had to cover that first. Thank you for watching.